Welcome to Disconnected. Um, I'm not going to be doing much commenting on this video. Uh, I'd rather just want to point you to the whole thing because it's, you know, one hour, 18 minutes long. The problem with private schools, um, this is on the Novara Media. I'll put the link down below um, because I think this is worth a watch. This video goes... Um, it's basically about somebody who was in the private school system talking about all the problems that exist in the private schools, uh, everything from how they run, how the people are treated, um, kids having to leave their homes if they go to the dorms, all that kind of stuff, the psych psychological issues, all of that um, gets discussed here. It's really interesting. Um, so Britain is unique in the way that public schools, that's private schools to anybody outside Britain. This is so weird. It's like public school is actually a private school. Have a stranglehold on the establishment. Alumni of these schools are massively overrepresented in upper echelons of society. So it is so it is any wonder that the media, the judicial system and the, politi the political class treat normal people with contempt. So obviously this is one thing we all know is that pe the people that come through the, the main big universities um, usually are populated, uh, usually come from private schools and there's only a few really big private schools. And then at the same time, it is those people that come from those specific schools that end up becoming, you know, prime ministers and, you know, all these uh, rich connected folk. Now, it's a, it's a really, really interesting um piece really worth watching the one thing that i didn't get from this which i really wanted to get from this which uh would be interesting to see is we know that people in private schools um get better positions in life and um the main theory is that it is not because they get a better education, but that it has more to do with the circles within uh, uh, within that they live. So they are within a society, in the private schools, within the families that, that, that send their kids there. They are in this bubble of people who are connected. And therefore, it is more about the, the connections that they make in the private schools and the, and the company they keep and the friends that they make. The nepotism behind it, essentially, in a way that then brings them into the society later on um, in the high stages, in, in the financial systems, in the government, in decision making places. And that is part of the reason why people from government schools, public schools, the way I see them, um, don't have that opportunity because those places are kind of automatically filled by people from private schools. But the question I really have is, um, is the actual day-to-day -day education in the private school better than public schools? In a sense that, you know, do they have better teachers? Do they learn more? Are they more worldwise? Are they actually cleverer people coming out of the schools? Or is it really just all down to this idea that they are, you know, connected, connected folk? Um, anyway, it would be interesting. I've, I've been trying to find a way to actually get to the bottom of that question because how would you how would you know how would you know um who who would make that decision how would you how would you gauge that is public school the schooling itself the education that the, the children receive is that any better than from you know a normal school anyway i'll have the link below uh have a watch thank you very much